Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of CUDA Education. Today we're going to talk about the staging buffer. Now, um, as you guys know, in Vulcan, we use buffers as sort of a, a container in memory that is used for specific purposes. So, um, in, in this particular um, discussion, we're going to talk about trying to get the vertex buffer, which is the space in memory that uses, that, that, that has uh, vertices information and color information and position information. We're going to have that vertex buffer use device local memory. When I say device local memory, I basically am saying GPU local memory. Now, in the previous discussion, we talked about the vertex buffer and we actually, you know, implemented the vertex buffer, but the way how we did the vertex buffer, it was using host visible memory or basically memory that was visible by the CPU and also by the GPU. Um, this this memory is inefficient because it is not close to the GPU and it's not sort of even exclusive to the GPU. It's slower um, when the GPU is trying to render frames on a screen. So the purpose of this discussion now is to talk about how are we going to get our data that we write on this, you know, that we outline on the CPU, how are we going to get that data over to the device local memory or the GPU local memory? All right. So you guys should be familiar right now, by now that we have CPU. Then we have a dividing line. And then we have the GPU. Okay. Now on the CPU side, we have um, our C++ code. Right. Our C++ code. And then within it, we have our data. We write out our data. So we write out the vertices for the triangle that we're trying to create, right? So the vertices, okay? Now we're gonna have a temporary buffer or, or a temporary, um, what we call a staging buffer that is going to help us to get this vertices data over from the CPU side all the way over to the GPU side, where it's exclusive to the GPU, all right? So we have our vertices data that we spelled out in our C++ application in Visual Studio. And then we need this, vert, uh, this staging buffer to help us to eventually get it to a vertex buffer that uses device local memory, GPU local memory, that's the fastest memory that the GPU can use. And of course, the faster the memory that the GPU can use, the, the higher the frame rate, the better the application runs, et cetera, et cetera. But we have to go through a process. It's not just, you know, it's not a simple matter. So this staging buffer is going to live between these two guys. So we'll, I'll just, I'll just put it as here for the staging buffer, all right? Um, I don't want to give the impression that it is, uh, it's more GPU than CPU. So let me make this a little bit, bring this over a little bit. So it looks a little bit more fair. Okay. So we're going to have in here, this is going to be our staging buffer. So I'm going to basically write out staging buffer again. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this vertices data and we're gonna push it to the staging buffer. Now remember, 
This staging buffer is accessible both from the CPU and the GPU side. Okay, so the CPU can see what's in the staging buffer, the GPU can see what's in the staging buffer. All right, this is a good thing because now what that means is that we can take our vertices information and we can push it. We can push our vertices information into the staging buffer. And how do we do that? We use, um, we use a, a, a function called VK map memory. So VK map memory. And I go through it in, in the tutorial um, that has a description in, that's in the description below, a link in the description below. So we use the VK map memory function or our ability to basically push the vertices data from our application on the CPU into the staging buffer. All right. So now once this vertices data is in the staging buffer, we're, we're sort of in a better position because now the CPU can see it and the GPU can see it. Okay. But there's still a problem. We want the GPU to use device local memory, right? Which is a lot faster than whatever, whatever memory type or container this is, right? Because this, this is, is like a bridge between the CPU and GPU. It's not as fast. So we want to use, we want to use device So we call this device local memory. But the problem with this over here is that how are we going to get the information in the staging buffer over to this device local memory? We can't use VK map memory because that's, that's more of a, a, a thing that's like between the CPU and GPU, and we have our device local memory over here. So what we have to do is instead of using a VK map memory, which, which wouldn't apply here because remember device local memory is sort of sectioned off and is a special kind of memory that the GPU uses. What we have to do is we have to do a copy buffer. Okay. So we have to do a copy buffer from the staging buffer over to the, this would be the vertex buffer. So the device local memory is what the vertex buffer has. So we have to do a copy buffer function from the staging buffer to the vertex buffer that has device local memory. Um, uh, maybe I should redo this. I think that's a better situation. So we'll say vertex buffer featuring device local memory. All right. So notice that this, this copy buffer bridge is different from the VK map memory or uh, 
memory mapper or what have you. This is different from this because this um, is sort of communication between the, the CPU and the CPU slash GPU coherent memory or host coherent memory or host visible memory. But then we have to do a buffer copy from this guy over to this guy so that we have we have in we have our our information in the device local memory right and the relationship between this guy and the gpu is a whole lot faster it's it's like really uh really really fast okay so that's 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 fundamentally the reason why why we go through all this process is that we want to get our vertices data. So I'll just put uh, the vertices. Uh, so the vertices is, is VK map memory over to here. And then from here, copy buffer into there and then we have our um we have our device local memory that um helps us to get really fast performance in our application and that's pretty much it that this is what we try to accomplish in tutorial number um so we'll say tutorial number 12. So if you look in the link in the description below, I'll have a link to tutorial number 12, where we review code that goes through this entire process. And this is, this is, this is the heart of what, um, what we're trying to do. Buffers are usually containers um, of, 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 of memory spaces and containers of memory that we use to get our our stuff done so a buffer usually has you know you create the buffer itself in vulcan and then you create the buffer memory so this has a specific kind of memory this is like host coherent or host visible memory and when it says host visible it's talking about the cpu visible right this is the host this is the device Device local memory, device, device. So I could, I could call this uh, device up here. And this is host, right? So we, we've gone through this in parallel processing and stuff. Um, we have the host, we have the device. This is the ideal kind of memory that we want to use because it's very fast. And we do a VK map memory to here, and then we do a copy buffer to here. And that's pretty much it, guys. I go through code, um, running code, um, and I try to get, of course, the code running on your machine, a uh, Windows-based machine. And we uh, digest all the processing. We create the staging buffer. We create the vertex buffer featuring device local memory. We make sure we associate the appropriate memories for each of the buffers. So the staging buffer is one kind of memory and the vertex buffer is of course device local memory. We outline the data in the C++ code. So this is C++, the C++ code. And then we bring it over into here. Um, and then uh, we get it to the vertex buffer for your copy buffer function and there you have it so um this is tutorial number 12 uh check out kudaeducation.com for more uh tutorials on vulcan and other technologies um definitely subscribe to the channel tell your friends vulcan is the future parallel processing is the future talk about uh holograms virtual reality all that stuff. I'm not sure if Vulcan can do teleportation, but maybe in the future it can. So uh, get ahead of the curve and start learning this stuff. It's not too difficult. It just requires your time and attention.
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.